Professor Williams, you in the gender session yesterday, you talk about with that we need to genderize our institutions. <laughs> Can you explain what do you mean? Yes. Simply what I mean okay. is that we've been talking about gender, 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 and we need a way of getting people to conceptualize what it is all about. And instead of thinking that genderization means talking about women, it is really the sexes of the human race, that is the male and the female. And that actually is what I mean, because in any institution, you have both male and female. And so we're not talking about just the women and forgetting the men. And so when we use that word and people sort of like, take a second look at it, they know we're talking about themselves. We're talking about ourselves. How do we, as people, work together in a harmonized and better way to get the best out of each other? Can you tell us um, a good example about uh, how gender is good understanding in any institution or project that you have been involved? Well, one very good example is uh, farming. In farming, you find that a family is composed of the husband, the wife, and the children. And they all work together to make their output successful. If it's just the husband, that is taking care of the family. And without the wife supporting the husband, either when, well, we always say that the hard work is done by the man. That is clearing the land, preparing the land, and then breaking it up for the sowing. But then the labor is composed of the children and the wife to help put the seed into the ground. And after that, the weeds grow. The weeds compete with the actual crop. So it's the wife and the children that go about weeding. They either weed every week, and if there's plenty of rainfall, they may have to weed every other day, okay? At the end of the production season, all the members of the family, the husband, the wife, the children, the harvest. But after the harvest, who prepares the processing? It's mainly the wife and the children. Okay? So gender works in that relationship of family. And that is how it should be in an institution. The management group and all the other staff. They are composed of men and women. If they don't have respect for each other and listen to each other in decision uh, making situation the institution is not going to be successful because there would be frustration there would be conflict and there would sometimes be hardship in which case maybe the best staff members out of frustration would resign that is because they have not taken into consideration the concept of their gender for them to be able to operate in a harmonious way for the institution to achieve its goal. Thank you, Professor.